Good to have yours, I've decided to use the same motor mount from your Honda motor to put the electric motors on, I think. I don't have to modify the um, bolt holes on this so I can bolt the big CMG motor on here. Until so that's the near holes, if it doesn't already fit. I think maybe those two might fit, but it might need some up here somewhere. Probably the two near, dual two near holes. And then this universal mount works with those types of mounts and everything. So this is the most universal thing I've got. Works quite well. I think that uh, it might work for that power steering pump. So I can bolt one end of it in there if it fits and put a pin through the other side, just do the tensioner up. And this thing is set up how I got it, works out very well actually. Especially with compressors like that. So this is actually quite a good little jig. It worked, it worked very well to hold the um, unit together when the belt never came loose, especially when it did that um, Ford Falcon compressor carnage. It's quite a nice little bloody motor bench. Works very well. Better than that one. I drilled some holes. I might have to re-drill this one though, I think. The bloody things don't quite line up. I might allow for this back one though, but this one here, right? The best uh, stuff I could use is cutting compound. Hey, cat. And I swear by this stuff. Some good old freddies. It's good stuff. Stuff made by this company's, uh, you know, know what they're doing. It's food grade anti-seas. It looks like heat sink paste. I might Google it actually. It could it probably pretty much is heat sink compound, I reckon. This probably has a few extras added to it to make it, um, Really, really good lubrication compound because you can get a bolt or a piece of oil thread bar, smash the guts out of it, and still you, and you, you will never get a bolt to squirt it. But when you put this stuff on it, you can squeeze it off by hand virtually. That's how good this stuff is. Highly recommend it. I don't have any Trefolex cutting compound, so that's the next best thing. So, well, basically, you want to that size standard NCI thread bolt. It's a half inch NCI thread, so one there. Cut the thread so that will screw in there. Nut and bolt. Merge all that nut and bolt. And those two will just screw into this uh, bar down there. So give me a good uh, mount for that motor. Yeah, this compressor doesn't want to fit very straight. I have to modify this. Bugger. Alright, let's get some belts for the. Get the motor going. I'll hook the power up and see if it's got enough grip in that belt. Hopefully it is. It's going to hit this bottom foot though, but we'll see if it's got enough um, give in this spot to turn this compressor satisfactorily. Let's see if the boat's got enough tension. Ah, oh, you bugger. Not quite. I need the idler. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a longer boat, more give. I'll shorter belt if I've got one. I hope I've got a short enough belt. Fiction. Smell that. That's starting only at about 50 hertz, so I'll start up slow. They're too long, one too short. Bugger. Ah, <laughs> oh, you bugger. There's no giving it. I got a door loading my fingers. There's nothing wrong with this compressor, but when it was on the track, that would be, um, it pressure tested good. It'll hold the pressure, but when I went to pump the, um, the, the system under vacuum, the seal behind that shaft was sucking in. So it's not supposed to do that. There's no point in guessing it and leaving it like that, so. By the time we put a new seal on this compressor, it's cheaper to get a new compressor, so that's what we did. Well, I'll stop that and go get another bloody belt. Yeah, you gotta get another belt. That one's too damn long. Yeah, it seems to work alright. I put a tighter belt in it. Not very straight, so that bloody um gotta make a straightening the way of straightening these out now. Yeah, I'll fix this up and sort it out. Yeah, I'll talk up that VFD. I might have to slow it down. That's too fast. No torque at that speed. It's not very usable. Hey, 
it is more realistic to try that way. Eh? So, behind the staff might leak in and suck in now. Gotta get a lag of dyes right there in your hand. volts at a set focus is the best I can get this drive at. Oh, 90 volts, uh, 90 hertz. That's about uh, the engine drive, it's just above all the speed I think on that. <laughs> no power to it. Yeah, need more volts. Need more volts to get this thing to have some power to turn this thing up to uh, the speed of the compressor. But it's not fast enough on 50 hertz. They get spinning up with no load. Yeah, see as I load it up. Yeah, see, too much load. Way too much load on that motor for this drive. Fifty hertz. That's about the running speed. Slowers all get out. Can't get much over 100 hertz, unfortunately. There we go. As fast as I can run it, without load. Now it's spinning out of guts out. Somewhere I'm trying to look fucking vacuum something down. 
Well, I couldn't find that bottle I used last time to pump down, so I just wanted to see how hot it gets. Mud is fine. Mud is good. It can only get so much vacuum and it restricts and it still passes air somewhere. I'm still getting air out of the outlet. The vacuum should be getting stronger than that normally, but then again, it's as hard as air compressor, not a vacuum pump. Thanks for watching.